Hello, we're back playing The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. My name's Grimord, and this is going to be my second video. So let's just jump straight back in with Isaac. Last time, uh, from, well, restarting again, it wasn't a great run, I wouldn't say. 24 minutes, and I didn't even get to the mum boss, but um, this toothpick's going to be good here. Yeah, it, it wasn't too bad. Like I, said, like I said last episode, you do take for granted all the, um, all the items that you seem to get later on, which is just kind of a given, um, you know, your damage upgrades, all this sort of thing, so it's quite interesting going back to the Binding of Isaac at a lower level, to watch out for these super meat boy things. So yeah, hopefully today we can get a bit further, get past mum, it's already looking better with the uh, two picks, which looks like a tiers upgrade, uh, possibly a damage upgrade, it does change the tier colours, although tears do seem a bit smaller. Yeah, so going forward with this, uh, just kind of a, another little heads up, what's going to be happening is I want to get as much videos out as possible, within reason, I don't want to flood you with loads of boring videos, but, you know, um, I want you to have more than one series to look at. So, um, I've got another few games on Steam, uh, something like Limbo, Lone Survivor, Super Meat Boy, which I haven't really played too much of, to be fair, um, any of them. So I might possibly look at uh, doing something along the lines of, yeah, get getting some of them out uh, alongside these Binding of Isaac videos. Um, and maybe, uh, possibly at some point, I will do some Minecraft videos, because I do like Minecraft, I don't know with it. Um, I love playing the Tekken. Uh, tech it and tech it packs, which are very good. Just cut the widow there. Yeah, so it is a possibility that Minecraft may make an appearance at some point, but what I want from you guys is really to, to be telling me what games you want to see. So from now, just make suggestions in the, the comments tab underneath and um, tell me what you guys want to see on my page and I'll, I'll see if I can make that happen. Um, as this kind of progresses I'm going to be getting better oh, city damage again and more city damage. Better mic, uh, you know, better, better cam maybe for some face cam stuff with some horror games which is quite fun. Um, yeah gradually as, as the page progresses obviously I'm not going to do it straight away because I don't know if it's going to take, how successful my channel is going to be, um, what you guys really want, but let me this up here. And it would also be interesting to kind of hear your influences, uh, where you would like to see me going, if there's something your regular YouTubers don't really do too much, that would be quite interesting to hear as well. Um, but then maybe I could fill the void a, a little bit with something which you've been wanting, and I will be quite quite good requests. Um, like I say, I'm going to play the games in my own style and uh, as these videos go on I'll start to talk more about the videos as well. I know at the minute I'm kind of talking about where the, the game seems to be, uh, the page seems to be heading a lot more than, um, yeah, kind of the game itself. But yeah, if you just kind of leave suggestions I'm definitely going to, definitely going to listen to them and respond to them. I'm also thinking, as an incentive for you guys, um, that oh, stupid damage again. Um, that possibly what I'll do is um, some rewards for landmarks on like subscribers and page views. And also, if you guys want to, I can. Uh, I'd like to receive some some emails and letters and, and you know different pieces from you guys, which we can maybe talk about. So that might be something I do in the future as well. Um, get my dress out and yeah, do that some letters and, and that sort of thing. So definitely, we're going to crack on here for now, though. There's Brimstone straight away, and I do like Brimstone. Yeah, I'm going to take it, take Brimstone for two hearts. A little bit dangerously, but Brimstone is a hell of an item. We're going to progress here. So this is why Brimstone's so good. There we go. Just gonna make this a bit easier as we go forward. Check out what we've got in the sicker room. Ghost baby. 
go. Ghost Baby isn't too bad with the uh, shots which travel over and through things. There's one. Oh, good job. There we go. There we go. Really having a, a tough look at the keys and bombs on this run, so I'm not really having the opportunity to search for secret rooms or anything like that. Which is a bit frustrating. We're progressing quite quickly. There. So item wise, brimstone is a, a very good item. Never complain of brimstone. Don't want to go in the self-sacrifice room yet. Nine cents, we'll, we'll give the boss a try. We'll take the spirit heart and the, the pill. Not, not bad. That's even better now. Um, not bad items from the shop. The spirit heart is always going to be beneficial. Now I just really wanna wanna stack damage on him. Maybe a flying item if a flying item is available this early on in the game. Um, but yeah, realistically, it's just a case of stacking damage and getting this brimstone as powerful as possible. Really. Okay. So the last silkworm is what? Charge on up there. Dead. And there we go. A push pin. I'm not actually quite sure what that does. Uh, so. Bomb. Secret room's probably going to be down the bottom. Have a look further up here and see what's, what's happening with it. Destroy you. And there we go. So, there's no point in me going over there. I've got I know everything that's needed at the minute. So, I'm kill these. Ooh, I'll miss out on okay, So we're just going to take this boss down. It's relatively quick. Stone. Oh, I keep taking the damage. It's say relatively quick because it's actually relatively quick. I keep taking silly damage. That's half health, so we're getting there. Uh, and there, it's not like I can get it. Taking way too much damage. Never usually this difficult, although my. Uh, it's again. Uh, my damage isn't that great, and I wasn't even paying attention on that one, I was looking at the boss's health. I mean, Ghost Bell is a good upgrade. Oh, uh, good familiar, but. Well, that would have been nice. I would really like Spirit of the Night. But no, we're just gonna have to soldier on without it. So we're back down in the caves too now. So we're just gonna go kill them. This first dodge them. Flies are always one of those ones where if you haven't got enough about you damage speed wise they're always gonna be a pain. Um, these these bombs are annoying because they do a whole heart of damage, which I always forget about. Go straight to the item up here. Picking up a couple of keys now, nothing major, and that's an HP up, which is nice. Get the balls around the neck, and then carry on. Sacrifice room again. So, really, we're just trying to the boss room with Chappie. Um, get rid of the champion one for a coin, not really worth it, although the shop is a possibility again, although we might, might see greed on this floor. So we'll, we'll find out now. I'm just going to try for the secret room actually before I go to the shop. No. Nope. Another spirit heart. Um, is it bum friend? Let him take your coins and he'll provide you with, with stuff. That's a, a possibility, definitely. Um, I don't know what it's about. Is it from here? No. Uh, I could do it with 
here, I suppose. I don't really want to have to use all my bombs up, but yeah, we'll have to. Ah, uh, we got a small rock as well, did we? No, just destroyed enough rocks to get the small rock. Does that make sense? That's going to be really annoying one. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's, like I say, just kind of refining everything myself a little bit. It's um, so, so different playing at this level to playing at a level you know, where you're consistently killing mum. Although, like I say, I was being really silly and not um, going for shield to complete it. But So it should be a good pill. Oh fuck, that is a good pill. Yeah, pills are going to be alright because we've got the luck up, so that's always a, an upside. Takes a little while, and then oh, that takes some damage. Oh, crazy dodging hit. Just no chance dodging that. We can get more than so far, please. So one heart health. This isn't going well already. There we go. Pick up house. This run again. Although I've got good items. It's Taking me a little while to a couple of runs to get through here, which isn't well, it is bad, it's annoying, but uh, I guess that's great pill. Um, it's not a bad thing because you can see the progression slowly rather than instantly, which is always a good thing. So yeah, rather than um, me just completing the boss, completing the next level of the boss and that sort of thing, it is. Taking a little bit of time and I'll split, I'll split these Larrys. A bit annoying. Let's get that. An eternal heart, which isn't going to be too bad. I'm in the depths part one, so that does make. Let's go down quite quickly here. Steam sail. I think this is the depths part one, so that doesn't pose as too bad an item. Um, I guess I'm on the cheap. It's going to actually hit me because I'm slow as anything. Also, which is quite frustrating, is my eternal heart is now exposed, so really want to find another eternal heart here. Guys, annoy me, but they seem to be easier than their the heads on their own. I think. If you if you get a nice enough room for them, that's a nice shot. Goes back here. If you can get away from these guys, they're so easy. But brains, brains. We really need a spirit heart, that is key at the moment. Just purely because. I'm going to lose this tail heart. There's going to have to be some ninja esque dodging in the meantime. I still haven't found a item on this level yet, so that's. There we go. Really do with finding the item room. Let's see what's in there. This is going to lead to one of the rooms. The boss room this room. Ah, oh, there goes the eternal heart. Couldn't really do too much about that. We are for some reason quite slow, which is also making things difficult. Am I? You split. So we just got bored down there, so we just split his head off. 
I would like to use um Okay. Ah oh, now I get a spirit heart, that's always the way, isn't it? And portable slot machine. Looks like I get pretty guys really good. Because I've got the luck I'm gonna play this. Tears down, that's not really good. Although we have got the tears upgrade, so it doesn't matter too much. Uh, so the boss room is going to be, we know where that's going to be. We're going to check for the secret room. It might be here. Not having too much luck with the secret rooms, actually. I didn't have too much last time, if I remember correctly. I think there's only one other place it can be, to be honest, which is going to be here. Apparently not. Um, I know there was a bug with a secret room being able to find it, but it's up to patch that, so that shouldn't be an issue. We'll carry on, though. There's a spirit heart there, so I'm going to save the bomb for that. So we get every... It's taking a little bit longer to fire on the brimstone at the minute. That's not too much of an issue. You don't need that half heart at the moment. Maybe something like a blood bank would be quite good. Um, this is always a get in the middle. Um, okay. He's belly. Okay, people, there we go. Another spirit heart. Like I say, always a, a welcome thing. I can't remember I've seen any. Um, This, this round, which is quite peculiar. Might get some shouts on the comments saying, Oh, you missed the Tony Rock. Tony Rock on so and so. Major dodging skills here. Where are the, uh, the brain juice that they leave behind? There we go. It's very odd not to see any Tony Rocks. It's going to hit me. It's going to hit me again. I was saying if you get the right room these are quite easy, but if you get rooms like this where you have to run you know very close to them, the heads come out very quickly on the the necks and they do do seem to um where's my lemon mishap gone? Oh, this is champion um these so if I get him Two, I think. Bad. So it's just gonna take a while, but Here, I believe, which we'll take on to the next level. This, hopefully, this is a speed down as well. So we're super slow. We've not really enough damage to carry us through. So this is going to be a very tough mum mum fight if we get to a. Okay, they gone. Uh, another bad gas pill, so that's not really a worry. We've got the shop here, which is a viable option if we get another key. Could be game over because I've got no speed. No speed coupled with um, damage, although I think we're alright. We're safe. I mentioned on the last video how much I hate these individual masks, and this room is also a bit, a bit annoying. You can usually. Though. 
dumb. Um, so we do need something to get over that. But I'm going to go this might be a bit easier if I can stay out of the way for a little bit. Okay. Just take long shots of these. Okay, the open plan is much easier. Because that could have been disaster temperance. That's a blood bank. I'll place that here just in case we can use it. We have a lot of, um... Oh, this is a rage. Not a bad time to get it with Mum's boss coming as well. That's going to be a very, very handy... handy item here. But... Shots coming out here, okay. Yes, this is going to be actually a really good item. Because this is very good combination. Rage. Rage Brimstones, never bad. Uh, helps with all the mum fights because you've just got to fight a load of ads. And um, I've got Bad Gas, which is a good damage over time. Same as Lemon Mishap, which isn't really a good damage over time, but it's a good, a good damage. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just trawl through here, just make our way as quickly as possible. To mom. We've got got the item room, so we don't really need anything else there. Um, get anything for the um oh, just ghost baby um yeah if we get anything for the shop it would be worth a look but again not not a major judgment there normal judgment demon. this is always a normal room let's try and get away from these say we've got enough to really warrant going to the shop so we may not go to the shop just yet. I think the boss room isn't going to be here. Ha! Ah, and Tainted Rock as well so we'll do the Tainted Rock. But we might spend like one cent on here. here. We might pay out first time with an HP upgrade. That is not going to happen much in this game I can tell you that. That is unbelievably lucky. So that's pretty close to I killed this here with silkworms. It's, it's a nice dodging. Try and kill the adders just to get a bit of extra damage. There we go. See, you look good, Rage. It's only an add or two, and that's some extra, extra damage, which is really worthwhile. We're going to be close to the speed of a walrus here. Got too hard because every time we can, be more damage. Although, let's get out of. I've killed, seem to have killed these all in a really stupid order. So, this is going to be a difficult time for me now because I've got so little health. And that was partly my own fault, partly unlucky, but. Mum should be just around the corner. So this is where it's going to be easy because the rage is just built up. Done. Like that. Yes. Rage is very good item. which isn't worth picking up. So I've got one and a half hearts. Um, got a blood bank up there. I'm going to go destroy the blood bank. I hate tracking back, but just thinking about this intelligently, I've got to, got to track back and get some of the, the hearts. Um, I've got a heart in the room there, which is in need of a bomb. Oh, I've actually forgot about this room. Which has actually proved to cause me more damage than actually... I'm probably going to get back, which is very annoying. Um, so we need to get their heart here. If we, now why 
Can anyone tell me why that didn't go over? Because that should have gone over. Now we are just relying purely on blood bank to give us some hearts. They're not taking any hearts in that room, which I have to go back through because I'm ridiculously slow. This could end uh, in that room. I'm not gonna lie, because. Ah, there we go. We're safer now. Much safer. So, yeah, with that, without the speed, it's just uh, been a real pain there. But the funny thing is, you know, kind of talking about me playing this before, with the runs and that, when I used to play, I used to do, what are we up to, 25 minutes now? I used to be able to do, uh, get to the womb, kill mum's heart in 25 minutes. Almost, you know. It used to be definitely like that, but... Oh, I got hit again. Um, but without the better items, better damage, that sort of thing, it's just much more difficult. So we're doing, you know, a half hour run just to kill the first level of the mum, which is absolutely appalling. Do as much as we can. This is what we want to do, we want to kill the ads. Just purely because the ads are going to provide the damage for us. I think we will do it here to be fair. Because we have got the damage. With rage. Still got to charge. Oh, we may die here. That's very lucky. That was lucky. Uh, on, oh, it's, it's so close. It's so close, literally. Yes, there we go. Isaac was cornered. Watch this as well. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her God, was bearing down on Isaac. I'm told, my lord, I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. But it wasn't. But yeah, so thanks for watching this. Like I say, it was a, a run we achieved by the literal skin of our teeth. I could not believe that. There was some crazy dodging going on at the last minute there. But yeah, but it, was, it was a good run. Like I say, needed a bit more damage, but with Rage, that really helped with the mum boss fight. So, um, like I say, we're going to carry on with Isaac every day. I think I'll do one episode a day, maybe two if I am feeling good for it, and if the demand meets it. Like I say, in the comments, just leave your suggestions, what you want to see. Like I say, I've got a few games on Steam, which I've got. There's a few other games as well. Just suggest them and I will look at them. I want to start FTL up tomorrow, so I might get one out tomorrow. FTL is a roguelike uh, indie game. I do love my indie games, and I love playing indie games, so... Um, yeah, like I say, uh, comments, subscribe if you like. I'm going to get as many videos out as possible for you guys and build the channel up. Like I say, and what I'll do is I'll say for the for the hundred uh, subscriber, I'm going to actually produce a piece of merchandise, probably a T-shirt with my Let's Play logo, something like that. Um, I'm also looking for intro videos, stuff like that as well, background maker. Um, so, if possible. If you guys can make that, that's brilliant. I love a community made one rather than me making one myself because I can do it, but it will take me years. So, yeah, thanks guys and girls for watching, and I'll see you next time.